All right, YouTube. Now, if you're a fan of Fear of God like me, you've been looking at the Fear of God Californians and you've been wondering, hey, are they worth that $200 premium? Well, look no further. I'm here to let you know. As you can see by the title, I wore the Fear of God Californians for a week straight to see if it's worth the $200 and if this shoe could hold up to the wear and tear of a week of wearing. To answer your question, I think it did. There are some things I do want to note. First thing I want to note that starting out, this shoe is very, very narrow. I initially put these on, I was like, ah, I thought they would be as comfortable as foam runners because, you know, hey, they're a foam material, they're so soft, why wouldn't they be? But as a narrow shoe, this shoe does not take to your foot immediately when you put the shoe on. One thing that I noticed over wearing the shoe for a week is that it has started to form to my foot. So that narrow shape that this shoe has had is expanding and fitting to my foot. So it no longer has that uncomfortable feel of it squeezing my foot. That's one thing that made me take this shoe off immediately after I put it on. But I can say now that this shoe is one of the most comfortable shoes that I have right now. The shoe is made out of an extra light material that is why Jerry said this shoe is at $200 premium. This is a new material that they created just for this shoe. And honestly, I can see why it is that premium price. This shoe is extremely comfortable after you break it in. When you first put the shoe on, it's not that comfortable, but after wearing it, it breaks in and it becomes super soft and you're, it's like you're walking on clouds. Another thing I noticed though that I don't too particularly care for about this shoe is that this back lip doesn't really keep your foot inside of the shoe. So every time I walk, my foot comes up in this weird motion every single time. I wish that would've been a little bit higher, but I do think it probably would take away from that moccasin look that Fear of God and Jerry Lorenzo are going for. Now another thing that I don't particularly care for, but I mean, it's kind of something you deal with with every shoe is creasing. I put this shoe on and the first time I wore it, the toe box begins to crease. Now, you should be able to see that crease going right across the toe box right there. And that literally happened as soon as I put the shoe on. Another thing that I don't particularly care for about this shoe though is when you walk, it, it bends, this part kind of bounces out. Now, I know they put this in there for ventilation, which honestly, it is. it definitely makes a difference. So, I'm not mad that it's there. I just wish it didn't make that weird bow out motion like it does every single time that I walk. A bit of a pro and a con for this shoe is the fact that it does mark very easily. But the pro side of that is, these shoes clean off extremely well. Whatever marks you get on this shoe, you can literally just wipe them off with a Clorox wipe or just a regular wet wipe. That's exactly what I did for this shoe right here. As you can see, there are no marks on this shoe. And after wearing it for a week, that's definitely something you expect to see in any shoe. So kudos to Jerry for making this shoe an easy one to clean. I definitely love that feature about this shoe. Honestly, this is a pretty solid shoe. It's super comfortable once you break it in. It's soft in the bottom of your foot. And once you break it in, it fits snug to your foot. Overall, I definitely think this shoe is worth that $200 premium. Now, while they do make foam runners for $80, foam runners do not have that give like these have and they do not form to your foot after a while of wearing them. So I definitely think that this material is definitely better than that foam runner material. So I can kind of understand that premium price point. Now, would I recommend that everyone pay this? I don't know. Whatever's for you is gonna be for you. If you can cop a pair of foam runners for 80 bucks retail, I definitely think you should go for that over this. But if you have the budget, and you can spend the $200 on this shoe, I definitely think it's a must cop so you can see how comfortable this shoe is for yourself. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And until next time, I'm your boy Joe. Make sure you leave us a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.